everyone, welcome to a new video by Original Video Reviews. I'm the OVR guy and in this video I'm going to talk with you about the AirPulse A100 Active Speaker System. And in this video we're gonna see what's included inside the package. I'm gonna go with you over the specs of these speakers and I will see how they work. I will give you a demonstration of these speakers and we're going to discover together if the AirPulse A100 justify all the hype around this brand and these specific speakers. So without any further ado, let's begin with unboxing this thing. The A100 is a set of two beautiful speakers. On the right is the active speaker and on the left is the passive speaker. The AirPods A100 were designed by Phil Jones, a well-known sound engineer and speaker designer, who established this Hi-Fi audio brand along with Edifier. In addition to the speakers, this is what was included inside the package. A box filled with accessories. Let me show you what's inside. First you have a user manual, you can find it in the full review on my website. This cable connects between the two speakers. One side goes into the active speaker and the other side goes into the passive speaker. It is the only connection that exists in the passive speaker. Another cable you get is the 3.5mm to RCA cable. I didn't use this cable during my test. But for the demonstration in this video, I plugged it into the subwoofer output which is also available in the A100. That's a fiber optic input audio cable. There's also RCA audio cable. In this demonstration, you can see me plug it to the PC input and the AUX input. The A100 comes with a compact wireless remote. You can turn the speakers on and off, switch between all the available connections and control the volume level, including muting the speakers completely. The remote is basic and it can turn the volume level to the max, regardless of the volume level that you've set on the back of the active speaker. However, it doesn't control the bass and treble levels and it needs a clear field, otherwise the infrared signal won't reach the speaker. The control is using a CR2032 3V replaceable battery. This is a USB connecting cable if you wish to connect the speakers directly into your computer. I like this type of connection, although I prefer a wireless connection. This is the power cable. Let's plug it and turn on the speakers. AirPulse also included these Velcro hook and loop fasteners, which are great for arranging the cables. Also you get a cleaning cloth, these gloves for handling the speakers without leaving any fingerprints, and there's also this thing that once I'll open it I will tell you what it is, so don't forget to check the full review on my website. The speakers also come with a pair of dense foam desktop stands. You place them beneath the speakers like this, so the speakers will stand still, and once they are locked in this position, the sound that comes from them goes up. In my opinion, this position contributes to the audio spreading and to the overall sound experience. Let's take a closer look at these speakers. The A100 cabinets are housed inside an 18mm thick MDF with a piano lacquer finishing. It comes in several colors, including an astonishing Ferrari red like the one that I got. To further reduce coloration, the cabinet interior is fully lined with professional waved sound absorption material. I didn't open up the cabinets to see if it's correct or not, but I will take AirPulse words for that. I was glad to see that fingerprints don't show that easy on the lacquer finishing. Each speaker's measurements are 160 on 283 on 255mm and their overall weight is 11 kilos. At the top is what AirPulse calls a home-loaded aluminum ribbon tweeter with an output of 10 watts for each speaker. A horn tweeter improves the sound dispersion by controlling the directivity of the tweeter. 
The better the directivity, the better the sound pressure levels are, whether it's on or off axis. Horns also improve the efficiency of your tweeter by coupling its driver's high impedance to the lower impedance of the surrounding air. Ribbon tweeters have an ultra-fast transient response. As such, ribbons are the solution if audio delicacy and detail resolution are your main priorities. Beneath it is a 5-inch midwoofer unit with a hard anodized aluminum alloy cone that is suspended in a heavy ultra-rigid cast magnesium alloy frame. The woofer's output is 40 watts for each speaker. The bass is brilliant and rarely shadowed the high and mid signals nor feels artificial. You can adjust the bass and add an external subwoofer, but the A100 is already powerful right off the bat. The oval-shaped vent tube at the back of the A100 is designed to minimize wind noise. The active speaker has a high-efficiency amplifier with a digital signal processing system and includes two pieces of TAS5754 Class D amplifier from Texas Instruments. The internal wiring in the A100 is made by Transparent, a well-known American manufacturer. This quality wiring should ensure a minimum signal loss. The speakers support high-res, high-quality audio playback and have obtained a high-res official certification. The frequency response of the A100 ranges from 52 Hz to 40 kHz. The input sample rate here supports up to 192 kHz, so the entire digital processing should run smoothly. And if you're using the optical fiber connector, it should support an input sample rate of up to 216 kHz. You can manually adjust the master volume level, the bass level, and the treble level. The Bluetooth audio receiver supports APTX decoder. I searched online the Bluetooth version here only to find it is 4.1. Here is a brief demonstration of how to pair the A100 with my smartphone. Once the pairing is complete, I will play for you a sound test with the AirPulse A100. Now let's go to the bottom line. The AirPods A100 are among the best speakers I ever had the opportunity to get for myself. 
They aren't cheap, but they sound so good that it is hard for me to go back and listen to other speakers. I played with them all sorts of audio and music genres, and they were phenomenal in each one of them. The bass is fantastic to the point that it is flawless. The high and mid frequencies are remarkable, but you will truly enjoy them when playing high quality audio. There were several times I encountered disturbances in the sound, but it was related to either the device I was streaming audio from, or because I was using many wireless devices at the same time in a small room. The A100 are easy to set up, you get all the accessories to use them, and they offer all the connections you're gonna need. The Bluetooth version is only 4.1, which is a bit outdated, and AirPods themselves already offer the AirPods A80 speaker system with the 5.0 Bluetooth version, so I hope they will update this issue soon. The remote control is basic and should have a clear field to work properly. Other than that, I can only say, wow wow wee wow, what an amazing set of speakers. Well boys and girls, this was my video review of the AirPods A100 Active Speaker System. To learn more about them, please check the full review on my website www.regionalvideoreviews.com. If you still have any further questions about these speakers, please comment on this video and I will do my best to help you with that. If this video was helpful and you enjoyed watching it, I invite you to give it a like. Also, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on the other social media, and visit my website, OriginalVideoReviews.com. I would like to thank you for watching another great video by Original Video Reviews. Until next time, bye-bye.